Hi, I'm Aicha. I'm excited to show you how easy and enjoyable it is to bring ideas to life and share them using Microsoft Word 2010. Whether I'm creating a lengthy report for work or an invitation for our office's open house, the new formatting tools in Word, which are easy to find up here in the ribbon, make it simple to add a creative touch to my work. Sophisticated 3D effects like reflection and shading or glow are always one or two clicks away. Instead of just presenting a boring list to my team, I like using Microsoft SmartArt in my documents because it communicates information in an engaging visual way. With even more creative SmartArt diagrams in Word, I now have tons of opportunities to help my coworkers better understand the data and concepts that I want to share. Word makes it easier than ever to visualize and organize content the way you want with Document Map. Document Map is an outline view that helps me see content in an intuitive and visual way. By just dragging and dropping any of these sections on the map, I can easily rearrange any part of this business report. We can delete sections, add a new one, type right into the header and the text appears in the body of the doc. We can create subsections and move content around throughout the entire document, all from the sidebar. If you ever need to find something particular like a keyword or phrase, you can stay in Document Map and type the term you're looking for into the search bar. Enhanced Search highlights in real time everywhere that word appears, and we can view the search results in the section view, or in a thumbnail view, or even a phrase view like this, whichever helps you find what you need fast. Because my team is always traveling, it can be next to impossible to get everyone together in person to meet. So we like to collaborate in real time online with Word. Just yesterday, I posted this report to our team workspace online. When I open it today, I can immediately see if someone else is currently online editing the document. If I just hover over their name, their contact info appears and we can communicate via phone, IM, or email and work together on the document at the same time. Word just saves so much time, everyone loves it. When I open Microsoft Backstage View, we can see all the actions that are possible to do with a Word document once it's been created. Things like set permissions, or save as a PDF, or send to someone via email. But printing is the real treat in Word. The new combination of print preview and print makes it completely clear how my report looks before I print. And I no longer have to page through several dialog boxes before I can print my work. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you'll have as much fun with Word 2010 as I do, bringing ideas to life and sharing them with others. Hey, I'm Dave. Today we're going to see some great new ways that Microsoft Outlook 2010 is making it simpler than ever for people to be confident, connected, and in control of managing their daily lives, in and out of the workplace. Alright, you'll see right away the big change in Outlook is a new interface. It's very clean. And with the ribbon, it's super simple to find what you're looking for whenever you need it. Outlook has a new conversation view to save valuable inbox space and make it a lot easier to manage all the emails that the average professional receives each day. Here, I've got some individual email messages as well as a conversation about Xbox, which shows up as one line item to save space. When we click on the conversation, it expands to reveal multiple messages all about the same subject. By right-clicking, we can act on a conversation in a single click. We can categorize this as important or as business, flag it for follow-up, or let's just choose to ignore and Outlook moves those messages and any future replies into the deleted items folder. For emails like this one that have a lot of replies, I can save a ton of reading time by right clicking and choosing clean up conversation. Outlook trims out all the redundant replies, leaving you only with the messages you need. Another useful feature in Outlook is mail tips, which tells users when they're about to send a message to a group or individual outside the organization. This reduces common missteps when sending important information via email. Now let's shift gears and talk about how Outlook streamlines common actions, like scheduling meetings, with something called Quick Steps. Sue sent me this email saying she'll help me with a project. In Outlook, 
I can take advantage of quick steps found here in the ribbon that saves me a lot of time by making common actions just a click away. These are essentially custom actions that you can define. In this case, I'm going to reply to the conversation and start a meeting with Sue by clicking meeting reply. This creates a meeting request with Sue and anyone else in this email thread, preserving the body of the conversation by placing it into the meeting request itself. Just like with email rules, you can create your own quick steps by selecting new quick step and following the prompts in the wizard. Another way Outlook helps me be more efficient is when I get a meeting request and I'm double booked. Instead of just telling me that I'm busy, Outlook shows me a preview of my calendar, making it simple to accept meetings and plan my schedule. So there you go. Thanks for joining me today. Make sure you take a look at Microsoft Outlook 2010. You're gonna love it. Hi, my name's Jennifer. Today, I'd like to show you how animated and alive your presentations can become using the new Rich Media Tools in Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. First off, photo editing has really been improved in PowerPoint. Here's an image I'd like to add to my presentation. When I go up to the ribbon to access available picture editing and formatting options, you'll see that the photo itself appears as a thumbnail under each effect. I can hover over these and it's easy to immediately see how each effect will impact the image. Once we get the photo looking the way we want, let's add an interesting transition to the slide. There are many more new transitions, some of which you're seeing here, that really create a richer experience that audiences will enjoy. I like the way this animation moves, but I want to use a different piece of art. Luckily, I don't need to reinvent the wheel. I just click the first object, then the animation painter, and then the object I want to use. And PowerPoint applies the same animation attributes from one object to the next for me. Now, there's so much more we can do with video in PowerPoint. I'm a PC, and I am not alone. I'm a PC. This particular video has been reflected, and this control panel lets us play, pause, fast forward, and rewind. I'm a PC, and I teach. If I only want to include part of this video, I can use controls to trim the video from right inside PowerPoint. I'm a PC, and I sell fish. I'd really like to email this slideshow to my manager. Let's open Microsoft Backstage View, where we'll find all the actions we can take with our presentation once it's been created. It looks like the file size for my presentation is huge, so I'm going to compress it to a lower quality video. That reduces its file size and makes it easier to share via email. When I'm collaborating with someone on a slideshow and I need to organize my presentation, I like to use slide sections. Slide sections lets me choose a specific set of slides within my presentation and, for instance, print only those. Now suppose I want to show you a slideshow that I'm working on, but we're not in the same room. Broadcast Slideshow works in conjunction with SharePoint to let me broadcast my slides to your browser. You don't even need PowerPoint to view it. Your audience will see the slides as you click through them, which is great for presenting remotely. So, there are a lot of new rich media enhancements in Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 that make it fun to add video, animations, and audio to your slideshows. I hope you're excited by what you've seen today. Thanks for joining me.